So let's practice. And I'm going to give you an option of practicing on paper or uh, if you have your laptops and want to do this with your current to-do list tools or, um, or if you want to bring up a text editor. Um, now, I've, I've given everyone uh, sheets of paper if you want to do this. Now, they're horizontal. Some of you might have gotten the defective ones that are vertical like this. Um, swap with someone or, or try to fix it, whatever you can do. Um, and take your uh, piece of paper and fold it like a book. So this is going to be, instead of 365 to-do lists per year, we're going to have day one, day two, day three. And does anyone need a pen? I only have two. <laughs> is there a buddy near you with a pen? Oh, there's a ton in the back. Oh, okay. Here, who needs pens? They're free, and they say marry it. Anyone else? Anyone scared of my throwing? <laughs> OK, they're, they're right here if you need it. OK, so let's practice. Um, so let's begin by adding the following items. Oh, so since on the blank paper we're emulating um, like stationary, like the Franklin Kobe stary, uh, Franklin Kobe stationary, leave um, enough room for like two little columns and then the column where we're going to write our to-do list. So uh, the two little columns are uh, priority and um, length of time. We'll, we'll talk about that later. First, we're going to do the very simple version. Um, but add these five things to your to-do list. And here's a little technique. The first word's unique, so you really only have to write that. Okay, I think it looks like most people are done. So as I, um, uh, before I showed you how we mark things done um, on paper, I have my patented marking system. I mark an X if it's done. And I, a hyphen means I've moved it to a future day. Sometimes, you know, gets to the end of the day. Um, uh, hyphen means I've copied it to another day and now I mark it as moved. Um, sometimes I just decide I'm not going to do this item and I just write the word no there and I also list who I told that I'm not going to do it. Um, dot I use uh, when I've delegated it to someone else so I'll, I'll mark a dot and then say you know Mary you know I've delegated this to Mary. Um, if I don't trust Mary no offense is there anyone named Mary in the room? Good let's talk about Mary. She's not very trustworthy so when I delegate to her, I not only do dot Mary, but then I um, maybe two days later, I make a note to myself, make sure Mary finished blah, blah, blah. Um, how do you do hypertext links on paper? Well, I use uh, angle brackets. So that might mean that there's more information about this on the 14th. So in this book, uh, sometimes I'll write an extensive to-do item. You know, do backups on this machine and don't forget blah, 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 and then tell John when you're done. I don't want to have to copy that to the next day's page if I didn't get it done today. So um, tomorrow I'll say, you know, backups, square bracket, May 14th, which means look at May 14th for the, all the details. Um, and there's other marking systems, but I give you all permission to use my patented X and hyphen system. Uh, let's see. So let's practice that. Um, let's mark this first item, create an account for Bob. Let's mark it as done. So if you're using paper, um, what would you do? Put an X, very good. 
And people using on their laptops, how are you marking things done? Just writing done? Okay, awesome. I don't recommend that you delete it on your laptop because um, it's really nice to see all these things marked as done. You get to the end of the day and if you've deleted them, you have, a, you have an empty text file. But if you've written the word done by each of them, it's sort of like a little pat on the back and it keeps us motivated. Okay, so this next thing, test the new GCC release. We didn't have time to do it. We did a little bit of work, but there's more testing we have to do tomorrow. So let's mark this as, in, as moved to the next day. So let's write on the next day's list, test new GCC, and then come back and mark uh, on paper. We're going to mark with a hyphen. And then um, the next item, report a bug. Well, let's mark that as done. And this last item, phone JP. Well, we called JP, and JP's voicemail says she's going to be out of the office for a couple days. So let's go forward two days and write call JP, and then mark this as, as moved. I call this, by the way, I call it mark and move. But if any of you have a database background, you know it's really sort of a two-phase commit. You should move it, then mark it. And so now we've covered the first four items on our list. It should look like this if you're doing paper. So it's status, priority, and an item. We'll talk about priorities later. Um, and we have this one last item. We have to uh, add to the wiki that we have new uh, support hours at our help desk. And so what are we going to do about that? Well, let's... Let's pretend it's 4 o'clock and, or let's say it's 5 o'clock, it's time to go home. Um, so we're not going to do this item. Let's move this item to the next day. So let's uh, mark and move. If you're using a text editor, what you have will probably look like this, um, except we just moved um, this add wiki page, we just moved that down. 